Hey guys, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to make doors that you uh, saw in my house in my last video that I uploaded. I just got our home from an awesome night out with friends, so I thought what an awesome time to make a Minecraft video. This here is actually the platform for an ALU that I'm making, which is, uh, for those that don't know, basically a computer. One of the first computers was an ALU, and I'm going to make one. Hopefully, anyway. So, uh, yeah, today I'll be showing you how to make this. See how they open, and then they shot. Now, I've got another tutorial that basically you press the button, the doors open, and you press it again, and they close. In this one here, if you're not standing on the button, the doors will close. See? Now, the link for the other one is right here. Here. and you can watch it after this if you want to include the redstone circuit but it really isn't necessary for this type of door since you can basically put the buttons on either side of the door and it'll work fine so the first thing you want to do is place your sticky pistons down you need one on top of the other like this and you'll want four squares in between them so I think that's four Oh, that's only three. That's four. Then you'll want to put bricks here and bricks here. And bricks here as well. Now, it doesn't actually look like this will power both of them, but it will. If I put a torch here, you can see that they're both receiving redstone power and they'll both be shut. So what I normally do is I connect both these up together. Uh, under the ground is the best way to do this. Whoops, I need you, and then you. I can go two down here. It's three. Yeah, that should be enough. Tell you what, creative mode is very useful this, like instant hit on the blocks and everything like that. Okay, that should be far enough for this side. Now let's go down this side. Uh, we want one, two, three, and yeah, that's enough. There we go. Now they're connected up like this. Okay, good. I should probably put a, a repeater here. And maybe another one at this end. Here. Okay, so now if there's power supplied to this wire here, the gate will be shut. So what I want to do is put buttons down. Sorry, pressure plates. I'll put that down instead of the switch. So I want to put pressure plate here and pressure plates here. Now the reason we want to do that is because when you build this, you want to try and cover up all your redstone circuitry like this. And I'll actually show you the one that I built on the house after this video. So yeah, you get the idea, you basically just cover this up so it's not seen by the user or yourself or whatever. So it's the middle, this one, and there. Okay, so I'll just pull up the coordinates. Which is 36 and 37 along the x-axis. 5, 36, 37. Okay, so the button should be directly above here. Just clear this out a bit so I have a bit of room. So, here. 
Now if I press down on this, the door should shut. <laughs> so I'll just go like this, connect it up, and we'll just give it a test. Ah, I was too close. Way too close. Okay, now when I step on this, the door should shut. Good. Awesome. So, that's pretty easy there. So, button, space... Door, space, buttons, here. So because the buttons are directly above this here, I'm going to have to move the wire back a bit. So, what is it? 222 for the Z coordinates. Ah, so it's here. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Sometimes get a little mess mixed up with where things are, which is very useful when you have the F3 key. <laughs> okay, so these two, these two. Yeah, now it should be fine. Okay, let's just give that a quick test to make sure we got the position correct. Awesome. Okay, so now that we've got that, we need to basically put an inverter for each of these switches here. Now, I'm going to run this wire down a little bit, just so we have some buffer space to do everything with. This should do up. Yeah, here we go. Actually, do it this way. Okay. So we want to run it here. Okay, now they're both connected up. So each button, it doesn't matter which button you press now, they'll both supply power. And now all we have to do is run an inverter into the main wire here. Now, we want to do this by... I'll just punch a little hole out here for the inverter section. Now, inverters are basically not gates. So, this... If you're wondering why it doesn't work, uh, if you did this and supplied power to the button, this torch won't go out, because basically the wire has got to be pointing towards the brick. So, to give you a demonstration... If I supplied power here, this torch will stay on, which is not what we want. See how it's still on? What we need to do is put the brick here and put the redstone into here, like this. And now it'll be a not gate. So if power is on here, supplies power to this brick, turning off this torch. If there is no power here coming into here, then this torch will be on, which supplies power to the doors. And if power supplies to the doors, then the doors are shut. So, to give you an example, let's go back up. Oh, power isn't reaching the other door. It wants the repeat and move back a bit. There we go. Now it should work fine. So now when I step on the doors, they'll open, and when I step off it, they shut. Now what you can do to solve a lot of the problems here, because sometimes you may be too far back, or it may be underwater, or a whole bunch of other things, is you change the time on one of the doors. So now the uh, the right door will go at a slightly different time than the left, and that'll save you from getting crushed. Get off there, chicken. 
See how the right door now closes more slowly than the left. Which basically gives you time to walk through if you need to. Like that. But if you don't need that, then you can just set the timers to their, their minimum, which is the shortest time allowed. Which is that. And voila, that's basically the doors. Now, I'm going to quickly fly back over to my house and show you what's underneath there. Okay, here we go. This is my little house. So I'm going to come in through... What would be the best way? The top here. So here. Okay. Now, this wire here is going to the pistons. The other piston is just below this piston here. Uh, same as this side here. It goes into the pistons on the other side of the door. Now, I was pretty tight on space when I did this, so I've had to like do a little path down here and stuff like that. Basically, here is one button here, and the other button is above that redstone wire there. Now, this goes down into here, through here, which is basically... Uh, what this does when you have two repeaters like this is this will open the doors very quickly, and because this one's on a higher delay, it'll leave them open for longer. So, I'll go back up to the other puzzle and show you that. But basically, this just keeps the doors open for longer. Uh, it comes up here. Connects up into the other buttons. And... Oops, stop flying. There we go. And then it comes through this here, which keeps the doors open for longer. Back over this. Whoops, I just get rid of that. There we go. Comes through this. This is the inverter gate that I was telling you about. Here's some more delays just so I can get through the door better. And then it goes into the wiring to the pistons. There we go. So that's pretty much it. Um, so I'll fly back over here and show you what I mean with the double repeaters set at different rates. Okay, so we want to... So that goes into one repeater, that goes into the other. Okay, we'll do it here. need two spaces, so... These will be the short delay ones, and... This can be the long delay ones. So, that should do it, yeah. So, you, what you'll find happens is the doors will now open at the same rate, but they'll stay open for longer. Oh, that's strange. So, you press the button, it comes through here. Ah, they need to go before the inverter gate. My bad. <laughs> so, it actually needs to go in before this section here. So, I'll do that now. going to be tricky. Alrighty. We have to move this other one.
Okay, that now works. Here we go. So we can bang, 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 bang. This one, that should do it. There we go. So basically when something steps on this... See that? How... This one here gets power quickly to the doors, which opens it. And this one here takes a little longer, but because it's still supplying power to the, the doors, they stay open for longer. So basically, this one opens it, and this one will run out first, but before this one runs out, power is completely running through this one, which will keep them open until this one ends. So maybe it's a little too long there, because they'll open then shut. Yeah, that should work. Let's go up another look. So they should open quickly, but close very slowly. There, like that. So when you're doing this, remember to put them before the inverter gate, otherwise it won't work correctly. Alright guys, I'm gonna go, go to bed because it's fairly late here. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Have fun.